yo yo what's going on y'all so um i have a revelation coming from holy spirit um before i get into the revelation i wanted to take the time out to thank um thank y'all thank my family for all the emails that y'all seeing praying for me and um saying that, you know, the words from the Father ha- have been helping you. I-, I appreciate all the emails, which I was saying that these messages have been helping because they inspire me and motivate me to to keep going and to keep pushing regardless of what the enemy is trying to throw in the way. So I want to take the time out to thank y'all for showing me love, for showing the ministry love, for showing God love, for showing Christ love, and sh- for showing the Holy Spirit love for what they are providing through this ministry and throughout this ministry. I want to take the time out to thank y'all and say much love. And I love y'all for, for loving me and for loving the Lord for those who are pure at heart when it comes to me and when it comes to the ministry and it come when it comes to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I want to say thank you, 111. And I love you so much because um, I couldn't do this without y'all. Like I could do it, but the inspiration and the motivation that I receive from you through the emails are very heartfelt. And I always tell y'all, y'all pulling on my heartstrings. And I'm, I'm, I'm not capping when I say y'all pulling on my heartstrings. I'm a lover at heart. I'm very sensitive and gentle and I love love. And I love positivity and I love to see it. I love to experience it. I love the way it feels. So when it's pure and it's genuine and it's coming and I tell y'all, you're pulling at my heartstrings. I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. When I say y'all touching my heart and I love you and you inspire me and you're motivating me, I just want you to know that what you're doing for me, I hope that I am doing for you. You know what I'm saying? I hope, um, I can fill your cup as much as you are filling mine in the name of Jesus Christ. And I just want to tell y'all, thank y'all. And I love y'all so much for that. Okay. And the second thing that I want to tell y'all is I want to thank y'all for the seeds that y'all sow into the ministry. Um, For the people who are pure at heart and have been led to sow into the ministry. I want to thank y'all for that because um, it's something that y'all just started doing on your own. And I want to thank you for that. Um, I want you to know when you sow a seed that I write your name down. I write the date and I write the time. And I also pray over every seed that is um, sown into this ministry. I pray over it as soon as I receive it. Just so you know, I write your name down. I pray over you. I plead the blood of Jesus over your seed and over you as well. So just know that when you sow into this ministry, that that's what I'm doing. I'm praying over your seed and I'm pleading the blood of Jesus over you and your seed in the name of Jesus. So I want to thank those people who sow into this ministry. Um, Don't think that um, what you doing through your emails and through your sowing that is going unnoticed. God sees you. I don't know why I write it down. But the father um, led me to write it down and to pray over it. And I, I'm a, I'm a scribe for real, y'all. Like when I say I got so many notebooks and, and journals <laughs> everywhere, it is written. OK, it is written what you have done in the ministry and for the ministry. It is written. Thus says the Lord. OK, that's why he told me to write it down. It is written what you have done for this ministry. OK, and what you've sown into this ministry and how you inspire and motivate this ministry. And I just want y'all to know that God recognizes you and I see you for sure. And I love y'all. So um, the the, um, revelation is coming from a seed that was sown on the last day of the garden. And you know who you are. Okay. 411. This is some information. The father told me to pay attention when you sow that seed to the time that that seed was sown okay and the seed was sown at 229 and 229 means to grind i grind and it's attached to romans 8 26 and it reads and the way the spirit helps us in our weakness wait in the same way the spirit helps us in our weakness we do not know what we ought to pray for but the spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. So on the last day of the garden, 
I was led to speak in tongues. So this is something that I, I, I know how to do. I'm used to doing, but I had stopped doing online because the father, um, I read that if you're not if you're not going to interpret what I'm saying, or if you can interpret what I'm saying, don't speak in tongues to the congregation, right? But on the last day of the garden, I was led to speak in tongues and I was like kind of holding back a little bit in the beginning because I was like, oh, the interpretation. But Father said, speak. So I started to speak in tongues and then I was able to interpret what he was saying. And I was like, the spirit is moving in God. And it was a blessing just in that moment that I was able to tell you what he was saying. Um, some of the things that he was saying, because some of the things like it says were still hidden because we don't know the things we ought to pray for. So he intercedes for us. So some of the things he allowed me to say 555 and some of the things he was interceding on our behalf, you know, what we didn't know we ought to be praying for in the last day of the garden. So I just want you to know that your seed reflected and confirmed what the Holy Spirit had did and said in that video. So I want to thank you for your obedience, because through your seed, a confirmation was provided. Um. I also, uh, the other thing that I, Holy Spirit led me to do in that video was to place my hands out like this um, and speak in tongues. And it's at that time, I could feel blood flowing through my hands. I could feel the blood like running through my hands when he told me to hold my hands up to the screen. And so I just want you to know that when you are obedient, um, on your side, you never know what someone is um, second guessing or 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 fighting with or struggling with, and your obedience also on your on your on you guys's uh, side confirms the thing. And don't ever think that you know you can mislead a child of God. Like I said, I'm discernment is something the father gives me. So I, I, I can't be easily misled, but I am, I, I'm aware when the father is confirming a thing to me and he confirmed through to, to me through your seed that me speaking in tongues and me holding up my hands and being obedient and feeling the blood running through my veins, that all of that is something that he was telling me to do at that time. And I'm pretty sure that you were present at the live and I appreciate you and your obedience and I just want you to know you know who you are I, I love you so much and there was also some um some people watching and praying while I was praying and doing what the Holy Spirit was telling me to do but they were praying against what I was praying for and Holy Spirit wanted to make me aware of that okay so the power of Holy Spirit was actually coming through the screens because there were some people who were watching or are going to watch who are going to try to pray against what I was praying for at the time or what Holy Spirit was interceding for us at that time. But their prayers, hexes, word curses shall fall, fail that their but their prayers, hexes, word curses shall fail in Jesus mighty name. Um, the Holy, um, Holy Spirit, um, showed me the word Katrina, showed me the name Katrina. And when I looked up the name Katrina, it meant pure. And it implies that you are gentle, yet you have an assertive demeanor that cannot be intimidated. So the father and, and wants you to know, and wants some of the, um, the people, the newcomers, or maybe even like enemies, OK, wants the enemies to know that, yes, I am someone who is pure at heart. Yes, I am someone who is gentle. Yes, I am, I do have uh, some torp, some type of assertive demeanor towards me. But when it comes to the Holy Spirit, I am very I have an assertive demeanor that cannot be intimidated. The father wants you to know that you are not going to be able to intimidate me when it comes to him. Period. I'm pure, I'm gentle, but I will not be intimidated by anyone. Thus says the Lord and me. 